the scaffold. This can be used to create a drawer. You can also use it to create all the skeleton of your app, add a floating button in the middle, and also a navigation bar in the bottom. Let me show you how it works. First, we will create a variable int count at zero. Inside the build, we will return the scaffold widget. If you want, you can change the background color. We will use orange accent. There is an argument called app bar. This is the bar on the top of your application. The body argument will be all the widget in the middle of the skeleton of the app. If you need to have a drawer inside your application, you can use the argument drawer and use a widget called drawer also. Just like this, you have a button which you can press and access a menu. In the scaffold, you can also add the floating action button location. For this one, we will use the center duct, but you will also need to create a floating action button. Keep in mind that you can change the location of the floating action button wherever you want. Next, you have also the possibility to add a bottom navigation bar. For this example, we'll just use the bottom navigation bar widget, and this can give you a big picture of what you can do with the scaffold. 